This is my favorite build here, just because, well, it's an S2000, but it has what I think is like the full Voltex race kit. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it no longer has like the Legalis front and uh, side fenders and ASM are rear, but no, this is like, might be, they might be different cars. But this one looks so sick. Wow. HKS GT2 supercharger setup. So cool. Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm here with Shota, and we're also going to be meeting up with Masa and Indra. We are here at Scuba Circuit for Attack for Scuba Attack. This is an event that happens uh, like once a year, and it is super famous within the Time Attack community because it's pretty much the proving grounds for yeah, to make sure like to figure out who is the fastest at Time Attack here at Scuba. And you're and driving so, today, right? No. Yeah, I'll be driving this yellow. No, I wish. Look at this. Yeah, so you were just saying that like the parking lot is a video in and of itself. Honestly, I mean, look here. We have this RX-7 and then when you look over here and there, it's like cars everywhere. Though. Everywhere, everywhere. Awesome cars everywhere. Oh, it's a yellow S2000 over there. Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not like I've that? never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but this is nice. Look at this really meaty, this meaty fitment. <laughs> Oh, I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost bought my bumper uh, from from this guy, but small world. Yeah, small world. It's a, uh, it's a pretty small community here. Actually, I, I wouldn't say that. Like, I guess through Twitter, everyone's connected, and uh, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of people here that I often see online. And yeah, it's just really cool. This guy's chilling, asleep. Uh, <laughs> We will first catch up with Masa, so hopefully he's inside there somewhere, and hopefully we didn't miss too much action. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Look at this splitter. I always wonder if people just like build their splitters once they get here, or do they actually try to drive here like this? That's, uh, that's intense. So I'm super excited because this is my first uh, time visiting. This is my first time coming to Attack, and I'm really interested in the time attack. So maybe this is gonna you know, spark that fire to set up the S2000 for, for time attack. I, I, I already do have the tax sticker on the back of it. I'll so. say you're pretty much right. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. Sick. So right now it looks like it's a lower powered cars, a lot of K cars that are running right now. Let's see if we can find Indra and Masa and they can explain what the schedule for today will be like. All right, so that beat was a badass. Like, did you yeah. see that? The wing. That looks sick. The huge swan neck on a on a Honda Beat. I never thought I would see that. S six sixty actually. Yeah, only only in uh, attack you can see stuff like that. Sleep diffuser. CRX. Oh man, this super looks looks so good. Thank you. 
Okay, this is a Roadster, but I actually thought it was a RX-7 at first glance. This is like a racing festival. Check out that wing, bro. What the heck is that? Midnight RX-7 which we saw at Auto Salon. Another Midnight car. It's interesting because as famous as Midnight was 20 years ago, now they're making a resurgence back into the limelight uh, in Time Attack. This monster R32 which is like 90% splitter and diffuser and the rest of the 10% is a massive wing. Yeah, this thing is crazy. Let's take a break from the cars and find Masa and Indra. I think they're upstairs. From above, just soak it all in. Soak it all in. I love the smell of gasoline in the morning. It looks like uh, we were here pretty late, actually. Yes. So, whoops. All right. Yes. You missed the action. Yeah. Oh, I did too. There we go. It's my favorite build today. It just crashed, actually. But I love how it has two wings. GT wing and right. One's a chassis mount and one is a front mount. And a ducktail. It's like, bro, I heard you like GT wing, so I put a GT wing on your GT wing. just heaven guys this is just heaven for me you know i just love these smells and these sights and just being here it's just so fun oh another s2000 check this out with the spoon fenders spoon fenders yeah yeah i think uh, it'll be the right decision not to go with the spoon fenders but the asm fenders instead but yeah, it's like super early. Like, yeah. would you hachi? Oh, is this a K2 oh, engine? K2? Yeah. yeah, this thing is like full track rat. Like sticker. Oh, nice. What does it mean? Go for it. Oh, how do you say it? Ishi fura. Ishi fura.
uh, this is our favorite car of the day. Double wing setup. Look at that. So you guys know I like double wings because I have a ducktail with the wing, but this just takes it to the next level. Let's look at it from the front. Crazy. Check out this car. Yeah. Midnight Purple 3, real one. What a baller, huh? What a baller. And it's super clean. <laughs> and I really want to get into this, man. This, this, is, this looks so fun. It looks like it costs so much money. It is. But it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cheap. Which is more, which is more expensive? Uh, like running time attack or, or drifting? Both. Oh, okay. Nowadays it's both. There's no cheap there's no cheap racing. You're right, there's no such thing as cheap racing. There's just uh, spending money at different rates. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not wrong, it's not wrong. The, the most cheapest one is actually dress up. In a ah, short because yeah. you don't track it, you don't use yeah. your tires often. You use your tires here. Yeah. They have to buy AO fifty twos that cost you like three grand in order to yeah. run one set. You have to run two. Oh man. Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna get into sim racing. We're gonna get really fast, <laughs> and then we're gonna build up our cars and go racing on the circuit. Yeah, he's gonna be my sponsor next year. First, you're gonna teach me. Oh, uh, uh, done deal. <laughs> done. done. excited you are seeing like these cars side by side with each uh, other. I'm like, I'm like a kid in a candy shop, like double wing Supra, midnight purple, R34. Driving how they should be driven, not just garage queens. Oh god. Yeah, this thing is badass. When it was on the track, man. Oh my god. Yeah. This out. So this is my this is my new thing. These little energy drink bags. It's filled with like a Kind of like a healthier energy drink uh, jelly. Super good. Yeah, like, I wanted to get five spots. 2.5 something like that. feel when you see GTRs? Are you still excited? Are you like me? Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely still excited. Especially like in a setting like this. You know, I feel like if it's in a parking lot, it's a little bit different than like here. Yeah, we actually see them like in their natural habitat, like running around. This is the level of commitment to time attack because like the car doesn't even have a plate so you can't drive this thing on the streets. You wouldn't drive but this on the street? I can't. Why not? No well you can't, uh, you can't with that splitter. <laughs> but yeah, like, right, there's no, there's no, it's not shocking legal, there's no plates. No plates, it's a fucking free roader. It's a fucking free roader engine so it's like uh -huh. not cheap anymore. Sequential? It's sequential. Whew. Oh no, it's a two roader. But it's a sequential. You spend a lot of money on it, and it, it's gonna blow it in one day. Yeah. And you have to spend another money on it to rebuild it again. That's why you just have a whole lot of engines. No, that's why you just have a whole lot of cars. Well, you need like five or six engines if you're on the right way. And that's why you commit to time attack. That's super cool. So, you know, I think this, this yeah, car, yeah. specific car, maybe got some Le Mans, you know, inspiration for their aero setup, maybe. But, it's, this is like a next level aero setup. This is called, the, like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a window. A window to aero. Look, you look at this. Look at this. What the heck? Oh my god. Holy cheese. Check out the difference between stock arrow from like those portions over there. This proper arrow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just see it from the front since we're all the way here. Whew, this is crazy. This arrow looks more like a plane than a car. And over here, this is the ASM S2000. Fully shocking that race today. 
they didn't get exactly the result they wanted, but they did pretty good. And this is a beautiful car. All right, since we're all the way inside here, let's just walk down. I really want to check out the Arvo S2000 down there. That the gray one? Yeah, that's the this is that's the Supra. All right, the car I wanted to see the most today. Let's keep going though. But I really wanted to see the Arvo S2000 down there. Yeah, for, for S2000 owners, this is pretty much one of the coolest, coolest, coolest cars, most legendary, the Arvo S2000. Look at the ridiculous arrow. do a full-on feature for this car in the future this is my favorite build here just because well it's an s2000 but it has what i think is like the full voltex race kit i'm not sure exactly uh it no longer has like the legalis front and uh side fenders and asm our rear but no this is like might be they might be different cars this one looks so sick. Wow. HKS GT2 supercharger setup. So cool. <laughs> without checking out this S2000 which looks really sick. It actually has the exact same hood that I do, the Bears hood. And he also has the fenders that I'm gonna get. These really beautiful ASM fenders, so I cannot wait. Oh, full interior pretty much. Looks good. Uh, not Voltex. 
K1 K1 lab. Oh. But I have the same hood. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna grab lunch and first Indra is gonna put his new attack sticker on on the Green Goblin GTR. What? Look at this color man. Yeah, it is. It's like all these different colors as you walk around it. Yes. All right, give, give us some advice in the comments of how he should wash his wrapped GTR. Hey, dude, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Last, last opinions. Wait, what do you think? What do you I think? I think that's a good spot, man. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Here? I think so. Shota, any opinions? No? Nah? I mean, it's already on there. Oh? Yeah, yeah. Just, I, just I the trust, tip, bro. Just the tip. Just the tip. I trust Albo's uh, sticker placement. There you go. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty sick. I think. Oh yeah. Attack. Attack. Yeah, that's sick. You think? Yeah, dude. Okay, it kind of looks like it's the, like the attack sticker just flew it, flew it out. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> like a gust of wind. Woo. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Oh wait, the trunk? Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's fine. I peeled it off. I had to replace mine. Re reposition mine. I won't put like a attack sticker on mine because my car is not meant to be attacked. Alright, let's just try and... Ah, yeah, 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 it has no, to... No, 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 slanted, it's gotta be slanted. Yeah, no, 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 If, if you do it, I feel like... Yeah, that, that's the best, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, then me. Okay, yeah, trust the Japanese guy to do it. Okay, go for it. Go for it? Or should we go on glass? No. No, not on glass. Yo, yo, watch the paint job, bro. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Or, or, do you want to do it like here on this side to balance out like this? Ah, ma, 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 cool, ka. Cool, yeah. cool, the whole guy, open eye. Yes. Cool. Other way. Cool. Other cool way. Cool. Yeah, and I, I think it looks good if you kind of like, yeah, like go with this yeah, angle. Yeah, so, so, that's yeah. cool, that's yeah. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. Cool. A, a little bit. Cool. Cool. There, there. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. There you go. You think? Yeah, we're attack sticker buddies now. On the back. There you go. You think? You think? It looks. Uh, <clears throat> if anything, if you really, you just put it on the bumper itself, on the on the wrap. All right, it's it's done, man. I don't know if I like it. I you, like it. You yeah. like it? What about here? <laughs> no. Nah. No. Because no. it won't show the full attack. It looks good there, man. That's yeah, a good, good it's a good spot. Another good spot, if you really were not sure, is like here. Yeah, that, that is like, you know, for sure 100%, but yeah. I'm not ready for that. Okay. Right, starting with the beef tongue. No, it's oh, pork yeah. tongue. A pork, pork tongue. tongue, all right. Dude, I like how you're rocking the Hunter's reflective print varsity jacket. <laughs> My, I didn't even tell him to do that. He just did it by himself. Yes. Nice. Like, I don't wear this to work, obviously, but I wear this to work. On dates? I do. So when's the next date? Soon. Oh shit, the robot. Hey, here we go. This is a robot that brings you your food. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robot. This restaurant serves you food, your food by robot. Thank you. Wow, Japan is so advanced. All right, so we're here in Tokyo now, actually, because Yushi wanted to go to a shop called Limitless or Limit 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 OMP. It's basically a racing outfitter shop. So we're gonna see 
how much the prices are for like full racing suits. Uh, I'm going to be hitting the track next week or I think in a couple weeks. Yeah, twice in March. And I'm going to be taking the S2000. So let's go see how much like a full racing suit is. Maybe I'll pick one up. But yeah, they're like super expensive. So I don't know. Oh, cool. This whole place is like super OMP. All right. To view you? <laughs> <laughs> Should I buy a racing suit? Are these for kids? Oh, this is a cart. Oh, okay. Carts. It's a cart suit. Oh, wheel. this is sick. I want one. OMP. Oh, sick. Which of these wheels feels the best? Oh, this one feels strange. The way it's right? like thin, but then. This is a rally steering wheel, bro. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't it's know that. The deep cones are used for rallies. Oh. Or drifting. Depending on what uh, like not 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 the deep. I mean, oh. like like hold it, hold it. Like see how it's like yeah, thin, yeah, yeah. but thin on the side, but it's like derpy. Yes, it's interesting. <laughs> I think I prefer this one. For me, my favorite is definitely this one. Just the size and feeling of it's perfect. Dude, I'm getting a bit of sticker shock right now. These prices are so expensive. Look at this, like sixteen hundred dollars. That's that's too expensive for me for a racing suit. I was hoping more like two or three hundred dollars. Damn it. Okay, this is like more reasonable, but still pretty crazy. Like three hundred fifty bucks. Sit down. back at the studio and I just finished cutting together the video. While I was cutting together, I also looked up other videos of scuba uh, this past weekend and I found a really good one from the official channel. So let's watch it and I'll just kind of react in, in the bottom down here. And there's a ton of stuff that we didn't get to see, unfortunately, because we came a little bit late. Hopefully this little montage gives you a good idea of what the rest of the day was like. I'll put a link to the channel of this video in the description. So check it out later as well. So many angles. Wow. There it is. The R Blessed Thousand. So sick. Man, this is really, really making me want to start a second career as a as a time attack driver. I just love the vibe of setting up the car and just going all out the track like this. It's, it's so cool. It's really cool seeing not just like super high powered uh, like GTRs and well, this uh, old uh, 8085, but you're also seeing a lot of like K cars and lower powered cars as well. So that's, that's so lots of different classes and all types of different makes and models. Oh, that's a thousand. But it's, it's great to see all manner of cars. Competing. Oh, this video is amazing. All right, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to join that as well in the future. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm super excited to take the S2000 to the track next week. And yeah, I'm just I'm just super excited because going to scuba made me 
really excited about Time Attack and I hope I can get more and more into it and build my car out to hit the track pretty regularly. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel uh, with merch purchases. Again, I still have these available. And just, uh, just as an update, I'm gonna be sending out another batch of these uh, tomorrow through Japan Post. Guys, it's a freaking nightmare right now to send these out. I'm having to do everything super manually. But for those of you guys who've ordered, don't worry, yours are definitely still coming. And thank you guys once again for your orders. And uh, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and peace out. Take care. And yeah, see you in the next one.